Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on East Coast Manga. So, finally we have some pretty decent lighting. I did bring my camera. Uh, we're going to record my phone still in there, but my uh, my power went out of my house. So I decided, alright, you know what? Let me uh, let me drive down and check out check out that dollar manga store that I've been to. Uh, now, I have been to this store a couple times. I've recorded one of the videos there. It might have actually been even my first manga shopping vlog uh, could have been recorded there. I don't remember exactly, but for anyone who's not familiar, most of the manga in this store is a dollar. The conditions range, it's it's very varied. They do have package deals, which are sometimes decent priced, sometimes are a little overpriced, you know, more so towards like eBay prices or whatever, but I'm more so interested in the dollar manga. That's, that's the hunt that I'm on. And yeah, so let's go check it out and uh, see what they have.
Alrighty, so we're back. It was... I don't like the setup. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I don't like the setup. I like the old setup so much better. It was so much easier to go through all the manga. Now it's kind of like prioritizing the bundles. But even the bundles are, are kind of hard to get to. And I don't know. I'm just not really interested in the bundles. I'm more interested in the, the dollar manga. I think that's what is the key part to this whole adventure and this whole store. I know it doesn't make the most profit, but that that's what I like the most. That's what I love the most. So I was able to dig through the bins and find a couple, a couple of things, a couple of things. So I'll show you those. To be honest, I don't think I found really any gems. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be keeping any of the stuff I got. It's probably either going to be selling it or giving it away. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I got everything for like $10. Uh, one of the manga volumes were a little more expensive just because I did didn't get it. I got it from the bundles section and it, it's only a single, but I, I guess it was not, it was only, it was half price. It wasn't a dollar, which is still fine. It's not a big deal, but uh, yeah, let me show you guys what I got. So the first volume of manga that I got is the one where it was half off. It wasn't a dollar more. It was $5 or something like that, but we have Tokyo Ghoul volume one. This is a manga I already own. I already own all 14 volumes. This was specifically bought to probably give away either on Discord or a stream or a video or something. I don't, I don't know yet. The next volume of manga is one that one of my buddies was looking for. I don't know if he still wants it or not. It's a little dirty. I think it's, I think, I think I can just wipe off the front, but this was a dollar. And uh, yeah, so this is Bloody Monday Volume 2. I don't know much about the story other than it has to do with like a virus or something like that, but it still sounded kind of kind of neat. Yeah, probably probably we'll be giving this away to uh, my buddy if, he's, if he doesn't already have it yet. And if he does already have it, then this will be just given away to someone else. The next volume of manga is one which I do already own the first volume of. I'm, I'm like 99% sure. So another one that I am probably going to give away or I might sell it, but I I mean, just for like a couple dollars or whatever. Uh, but it's a pretty popular manga, and especially for whatever reason, the last couple months, it's gained a ton of popularity and it's been kind of hard to get. Uh, but we have Yu Yu Hakusho Volume 1. I think a lot of people have this manga in their collection if they've been collecting for a while, but some newer collectors may not have this yet. So I think it could be pretty cool. But yeah, so this was a dollar and uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. So the next manga is well, probably the only manga in this whole thing that I might actually keep, but I'm not 100% sure yet because I would actually like to get this manga as a bundle and try to get it used, like all the whole set. But I can still check out this one volume and, and see if I'm see if I'm gonna like it. We have Pluto volume one. This is the Urasawa and Tezuka uh, collab manga. This is actually a manga that I've been wanting for a while. So I'm super, super excited to be able to pick this up for a dollar. And like, yes, this volume was a dollar. It's in pretty much perfect condition. It does have like two library stickers, one down here. So I'm definitely gonna end up reading this. I, I think, you know, I, I, I really don't know what I'm doing with all these yet. I know some of, the, some of these are gonna be given away. Most of these are not gonna be kept, but if any of these are kept, it's gonna be this one for sure. And then the last one, which is kind of interesting, I'm not gonna be keeping this one either because I have the omnibuses, but you know, if anyone's missing this volume or just wants a single volume of this series, then they can definitely have it. But we have Blade of the Immortal, I think volume two. It says The Gathering too, so I don't know if this was split into different parts or what, but yeah, so this is this is volume two of Blade of the Immortal, or what it seems like to me. This is the singles, so this is, you know, these, these came out a while ago, uh, printed by Dark Horse. But yeah, that's gonna be it for all the stuff I got. I really didn't pick up that much. There really wasn't that much to, that interested me you know maybe I missed out on some rare stuff you guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comments like usual but I don't know it's just uh, a lot of this stuff I recognized from a couple months ago which you know it is what it is there's less shipments with COVID and stuff like that probably you know maybe less people shopping but uh, yeah I mean I think maybe certain certain volumes need to be cleaned out just because they have been there for a while there, there was a lot of new stuff don't get me wrong but then there's also a lot of like volume one and twos and just like copies and stuff that are you know just like a bunch of volume one and twos of the same series yeah just not you know obviously not interested in that yeah i'll probably go back and revisit maybe i mean it's uh what what is it it's december right now probably go back in the springtime or something like that go check it out but uh you know 
uh, trying to give it enough time to clear out and maybe you know have some have some stuff come in but uh yeah regardless i hope you guys still enjoyed this video especially if you're an older collector because there's a lot of older series in those buckets and regardless of how much i find it's always an adventure going over there and, and, and trying to see what i can find so yeah i'll be figuring out what i'm doing with those volumes uh sooner or later but uh you know you can always just follow me on instagram i'll, I'll post i'll post them on my stories if i'm selling them uh or you can follow me on discord i'll have i have a whole channel on there if i sell them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys 